like, share, subscribe. HCB2 World. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, listen, I am definitely sorry for getting this out late to you guys. It's been a hectic day for me, it's been a busy day, and I'm just now getting the opportunity to sit down and get this done. But to make it up to you guys, it is 1.48 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. My butt is down, my butt is in front of the camera, and we're going to get this thing done. Now, I know you guys didn't come to hear my excuses. You actually came for Chapter 127 Review for My Hero Academia. So, other than that, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's go. All right, to start this review off, you know, we picked up where we left off last week. Last week, young Deku hit Sir Night Eye with the All Might face, and I, for one, thought this shit was hilarious, all right? I loved it. I thought it was clever. But, you know, Sir Night Eye, eh, not so much. Before walking in, Mario had told him that he needed to at least make him laugh once before he left out, and Deku was just trying to give it his best effort. Now, we know Deku pretty well, and there's a bunch of things he's good at. So, let me list some, you know. Is he good at making strategies? Hell yeah. Is he good at planning? Hell yeah. Is he good at making people laugh? Um, I don't really think that's in his skill set, but you know, he gave it a shot anyway. And what we didn't really count on was how much of a technical guy Sir Night Eye would be. Now, when I mean when I say technical, I'm talking about like he's really about attention to detail, so much to the point that he actually told Deku that he had the wrong measurements on the wrinkles of his face. You know, he was like, "All Might doesn't make a face like that. You're you're doing this face with these wrinkles and." You're showing that they're 0.6 centimeters long and they're actually 0.8. I mean, it was crazy. He had this shit down to a science. But even crazier than that is, Deku is also all about attention to detail. And Deku reminds him, like, hey, you know, the face I was going for was actually from this incident where he saved the kid from water. And the kid actually ended up turning the water into vinegar and it kind of got in all my eyes. So he squinted it, causing these wrinkles. So the whole detail and backstory to that part was just crazy. Now, one thing I loved about this is that through that, they kind of find out that they're both crazy ass All Might fans, you know? They love All Might. I mean, you see Deku, he's looking around the room, he's like, yo, this dude has All Might everything. I mean, he, hell, he even had a poster where De Deku was like, man, you know, that's a limited edition poster. That's one I really wanted. So it was kind of cool that they could bond over that. Now, as the chapter went on a little bit, you know, we start getting into the nitty gritty of the internship. Now Deku pulls out his sheet of paper and he kind of sets it down for Night Eye to stamp it. And Night Eye is like going through, he's going through basically what the internship is going to be like. He's like, hey, I know you're here, you're trying to get stronger, but you have to understand, like, my internship is legit. You're not going to have one of those easy ass internships where you're here for like a day to a week. No, like this internship, at minimum, you'll be here for a month. On top of that, you're going to be doing so much work that basically you're going to have excused absences. You know, your absences are going to be approved and you're really not going to be in school that much. You have to understand, on top of this internship, you're still going to have to do your work as a first year. And with that being said, you know, there's a high probability that you're going to fall behind your classmates. And right after he said that, Deku, I think this is where Deku made his first mistake. Deku was, Deku goes on to say, you know, I'm going to try to match their pace. I have to be at, I have to be on the top, you know, I have to finish at the top. And I think right when he said that, that kind of rubs Sir Night Eye the wrong way. Because then instead of stamping the paper, you know, he not only does he take the stamp, but he stamps it to the right of the paper and he slams it down with authority. And Deku's like, yo, you kind of missed the paper. And basically Sir, Mida, Sir Night Eye was like, uh, no, I really just didn't want to stamp it. So I think Deku kind of missed what he was trying to say. Deku was so focused on keeping up with everybody else, you know, he has to realize the position he, he's in. He's All Might's replacement. He's received the greatest power of powers, all right? He, he has to understand that if he really wants to be the top, he can't keep rushing it. It's not a process that you rush. You take your time. You take the necessary steps needed to get better. Even if it's inch by inch, you still have to take your time to get better. This isn't something you rush. This isn't something you race with your classmates to try to get to the top. No. With this, this is something you have to cultivate. You have to grow. And you have to do it right. So I think that's why Sir Night Eye was kind of rubbed the wrong way. Now, right after Sir Night Eye refuses to stand the paper, you know, he, he kind of makes Mario and Bubble Girl get out. And right at that point, you know, shit's about to get real, you know. It's... Before they could even messed up like that, it seemed like they were really getting along. Hell, even the sidekick Bubble Girl said, man, you know, who is this kid? He seems like Sir Night Eye's really taking a liking to him. But ever since Deku opened his mouth, man, stuff went south. So at this point, man, you almost feel like Deku messed up any chance of getting an internship that he might have had, you know. All he had to do was keep his mouth shut, but he couldn't do that. So Sir Night Eye, being the quote-unquote nice guy he is, he tells Deku that he's going to give him three minutes to take the stamp from his hand. Within those three minutes, Deku needs to take the stamp and he needs to stamp the paper himself. 
But when he does that, he also like adds a little bit of a mix to it. He tells Deku that he was he was actually disappointed that All Might chose Deku instead of Tagata. He, he goes on to he goes on to really hit Deku with some soul crushing shit, man. He tells Deku that in his eyes he's nothing but mediocre, and that there's actually there's someone out there better than him who is really befitting and really deserving of All Might's power, and obviously that's Mirio. But I mean, like to say it to his face like that, that was actually pretty messed up, man. And at that point, you know, I don't think he was so much, I don't think he was doing it so much to like be evil or be hurtful, but I think he wanted to see, he wanted to see if he could shake Deku's resolve. He wanted to see who Deku was. Was he a mistake that All Might made or was he actually worthy of the power? And the fact that he did that, I thought that was so cool, you know, it might have seemed like he had ill intentions, but I don't really think he did that at all. I think he did it because he wanted to pull the best out of Deku. It's like he said, you know, he wants Deku to show him through his actions, not words. Show me what kind of hero you're going to be. Show me what you're going to do with this awesome, awesome power you've received from basically the greatest hero of all time. Don't run your mouth, shut up and show me. Another cool part that I loved about this chapter is that is the part where Deku started reflecting on his encounter with All Might and kind of receiving one for all, you know. He, he heard the words that his own mom didn't even tell him at first. And that was, you can be a hero too. You know, that meant everything to Deku. Deku, a dude who started off with no quirk but had all the heart in the world. You know, he finally got his shot to take the stage. Now, for this guy to tell him he's not going to acknowledge him and he's, he's not going to accept him, I think that really, really, really got under Deku's skin to the point where he couldn't take it anymore, you know. Now, not only that, you have to remember that All Might chose this dude. If Tagata is so freaking great and if Tagata is supposed to be the man, why did All Might choose Deku? And Deku takes pride in that, you know. So, Deku's not just going to stand around and let this man badmouth All Might's selection and let this man really make him feel like he's nothing. He's clawed, he's had his body destroyed, I mean, he's gone through a lot to get to this point. So I think now what Deku's going to do is give it his everything to finally show this guy who he is, you know. And I love the fact that they're making things go down like Well, guys, that's going to do it for this review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If so, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I mean, I'm getting better at these reviews. I'm adding more and more to the list, and I'm actually having a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn those notifications on, and make sure you come back so that you can be a part of this, all right? As always, guys, I'm your boy, Heroes Come Back 2. Do great. Be great. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.